demonstration on how to convert Steam's version of X Plane X into retail disc form to allow beta updates as well as offline play. First off, you'll notice that when you run Steam, X Plane through Steam, it will give you a fatal error saying you have to run it through Steam. Another thing to notice when you do run it in Steam in offline mode, it says Steam user is not logged in, so you have to run Xplain while Steam is connected to the internet, or while, yeah, Steam is connected online. So what you want to do to do the conversion is go to xplane.com slash download slash xplane 10 installer update. Pick your version of the installer. So in this case, download Windows. And once you have it downloaded, run it. You may get a system error. That's okay. Just hit OK. Select update xplane. Okay, here it automatically detected my Steam version installed here. If it doesn't detect it, you can manually find it by clicking Find It button and then go through the directories of where it might be. If you wish to run the beta, check this. If you want to run Xplane 10.30 and update the Steam version to Xplane 10.30 beta, I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. What this will do is it'll check every file you have for uh, all the default main files for Xplane 10 installed so it won't check any uh, downloadable content that did not replace the original files. If you have download content that replaced uh, default files, this will wipe them out, but stuff like uh, add-on aircrafts in their own directory folder and any add-on textures or sceneries in their own directory folder will not get wiped during this process or replaced. I'm going to currently stop recording and once this thing scans all the files it will start the recording. Okay, so now it's finished scanning it. It will tell you you're about to download 12 megs of compressed update files it's to 10.25. This will convert the Steam version into retail version. Just hit continue. When it asks you, I'm about to install files like this, appears to be modified. What do you do? You go overwrite every old, f overwrite every old file in this directory. The uh, conversion from retail to Steam is only 12 meg, so it doesn't take long. If you update to the beta, it takes about a half an hour-ish. So now that you got the uh, re uh, Steam version into retail, look for... Look for the uh, X... Ah, it just disappeared on me. Look for the X Plane 10 no DVD ISO. It's about a 102 meg file. If you're running Windows 8, this is a simple a simple uh, way to mount it. If you're running anything below Windows 8, you'll need daemon tools.
So now that you got the disk mounted, go to the directory folder. You notice I don't have Steam running in the task manager. I mean, in yeah, task manager. If you happen to break X-Plane 10, either because of using the update or if for some forsaken reason the conversion from Steam Edition to Retail Edition doesn't work and you can't load the game, right click the game, go Properties, go Local Files, and then click v Verify Integration of Game Cache. This will check for every single Steam version of the files, of the default files. And anything that may have been replaced, like, you know, the .exe file and anything like that, will get re-downloaded, so it'll go back to the Steam version work. This will not remove any of the DLC you installed, assuming the DLC you installed re didn't replace the default files. If you used any um, add-on files that replaced any of the default files, they will get replaced and you will have to re-add them back in. So that is how you can convert convert Xplain X into uh, Xplain X Steam into retail. Another side note when you do do it if you run it if you run it through Steam it will tell you that you're playing it. If you If you run it without Steam, it frees up your library. So if you're a, if you have family sharing turned on, and you don't want to hog your library playing X Plane 10, just run it without Steam and uh, don't run the XE through Steam, and then somebody else can play your Steam library. That's it for now.